Good morning, teachers. Today I wanted to share with you everything that I know about exit tickets and how we can create virtual exit tickets. How do we truly know if our students have grasped the concepts that we've tried to teach them that day? I know in my face-to-face -face classroom, I use a beach ball and I use the depth and complexity icons. So the details, the big idea, the language of the discipline, I throw it to my students wherever their right thumb lands, they have to answer whatever that icon represents, the big idea or a detail of something that we've learned in the lesson. This is a great easy way to check for understanding for your students. Today, <laughs> I'm gonna share with you how to do it virtually as well. So we're gonna create a Google slide with the triangle, the square, and the circle. Triangle meaning what are three benefits of the activity you just did, the square, what really seems to have squared up with you, and then the circle, what your mind might still be circling around about. What, you know, what unanswered questions you might have. And then I'm gonna show you a Google form that does the uh, head, which is what are you gonna to continue to think about, the heart, what are you gonna to continue to feel, and the hand, what are you planning to do with the information that you now have. Now, of course, those are higher order thinking questions that really can take the concepts that you've taught them that day and allow the student to apply it in their daily lives. This is gonna be awesome, and I hope that you come back with, or come out of this video with a strategy that you can take into your classroom. Okay, here we go. The first exit ticket I'm gonna show you is with Google Slides, and so I'm gonna to go to my drive and I'm gonna to go to Google Slides, and then I'm going to get the background ready. I'm gonna add a background. I'm gonna choose an image, and I'm going to Google Image Search, so I can just search notebook paper, because that's always a good, simple background that students recognize from in-person class. I'm going to add word art. Of course, word art makes your lettering a little bit uh, more enticing for the students to want to fill out. And so I have exit ticket here. And then I'm going to change the fill color. And then I'm gonna change the line color. And of course I can make that line thicker if I want to. So it just makes it a little bit more pleasing to the eye. And then I'm going to insert the shapes. So I'm gonna insert a triangle because this particular exit ticket has everything to do with the shapes, the triangle, the square, and the circle. I can also change the fill color of the triangle, the square, and the circle, and I can also change the line, just like I did for the word art, the lettering at the top of the page that says exit ticket. So I'm gonna go blue for the triangle, I'm gonna go purple for the square, and then, let me see, circle, let's do orange. Okay, now I'm gonna add the questions that the students need to answer. So I'm gonna add that with a text box. Now I can go to insert to add the text box and there's also a little icon um, on the header that says text box, text box as well. So what are the three benefits from the lesson that you learned today? I'm gonna change the font. I'm gonna make it fit into my notebook lines, notebook paper lines. I can hit Command C and that will actually uh, copy the lettering box. And then I can hit Command V, which paste it into uh, my Google slide. So the square is what really seemed to square with your thinking. And then I'm gonna add one more box for my circle and the circle is what is your mind still circling around? You know, what further questions do you have? I'm gonna go ahead and add what did you learn to my square box because I just wanna make sure the students know what they're answering. And 
And now just making it pretty, making it fit within the lines of my notebook paper. Okay, at this point, I don't want students, when I share my Google Slides with them, to be able to change any of those questions or change my word art or my shapes. And so I'm gonna go to File, and I'm gonna go to Download, and I'm gonna download a PNG image of this particular slide. Then I'm just ma making it easy on myself, and I'm going to save it to my desktop. So then when I save it to my desktop, it will be easy to find when I'm back in Google Slides. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And then I'm going to go to add a slide, go to backgrounds. I'm going to choose an image. I'm going to upload it from my computer off my desktop. And there I have an exit ticket where they can't click on anything uh, or mess anything up. But they do need a text box to put their answer in. So now I'm adding the text box so that their answers can be put into their exit ticket for that day. Now, of course, this can be used in a virtual classroom, but this can be used in a regular classroom as well, because sometimes when we're drawing our class, uh, drawing the conclusions of our class, you know, checking for understanding for our students, sometimes um, we don't get to hear every single student, what they say or what they might know. And so this exit ticket allows each student to turn this in and you can go through and you can look at their Google slide when they're done and read their answers and see if the lesson, the activity, the information that you are trying to give to your students actually computed to them, that they actually heard what you were trying to teach. And if there was a misconception or anything like that within your lesson, this will be an opportunity for you to find that and correct it the next day. So now they have a text box for each of their answers. Okay, this time, we're gonna make an exit ticket using a Google Form. So I went to Google Drive again, and I went to add a Google Form. And you can upload a picture for the header of your Google Form. And so I already created this exit ticket image, and so that's what we're gonna use for my Google Form. And you can change the colors and the background colors to make it beautiful. And so that's what I tried to do. So my title is going to be exit ticket, and then I give a brief little uh, rules that the student should follow or directions that the student should follow as to how to complete that exit ticket. So now I'm going to upload a image of a head. <laughs> I love this exit ticket strategy. I think it's pretty cute. And I've done it in my classroom as well. I've actually, um, taking it's a head a heart and a hand as you'll see in a minute and each one refers to you know the head is what are you going to continue to think about the heart is what are you going to continue to feel and then the hand is what you're going to do so it definitely allows students to think on a higher level about how the information really affects them personally and i think in science that kind of happens a lot that we can take those lessons to that next level I'm gonna show you what this looks like in a physical classroom face-to-face -face as well. This is in my health class after we have just talked about alcohol and drugs. And so you're gonna see how my students were able to answer these same questions. So I want to know, after hearing about this lesson and the importance of making wise choices when it comes to drugs and alcohol and tobacco, what is one thing that you are feeling now? What is something that you're feeling that's really touched you? Yes? That some people don't always make the right choices, but other people can make the right ones after them. Right, that we can learn from other people's mistakes, for sure. So what is one thing that you're gonna continue to think about after this lesson? So what are you gonna continue to think about, Rain? That your, your um, choices can affect your, your family, your community, and your Definitely. Your choices can affect other people besides just yourself. And then the last one, the hand. What's one thing that you're going to do now that you know this information? What are you going to do? Yes. Not do drugs. Thank you. So you can do this virtually as well as person to person through this Google form. So you have the hand. What are you going to do? The heart what feelings you're going to continue to have 
and then of course your head, what you're going to continue to think about. And those pictures help to remind you of those questions. So this is the ex exit ticket. <laughs> Sorry, that's hard for me to say today. Head, heart, and hands. And really lets the student think about deeply what they learned that day and how they're going to apply it to their lives. Now, Google Forms are great because when they do give their responses, you can just easily go and you can see the whole class's response to each question, which is pretty great. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you learned something that you can take back into your classroom and use to help check for understanding of your students. Until next time. Bye.